Hello there. Who is the competitor, please? Michael Gautier. He's from France. And height, five foot ten. And weight, sixty-five kilograms. Okay, let me check the competitor's racket. First, we have to check the brand manufacturer. and the rubber manufacturer that's fine So I'm now going to inspect the racket for any potential defects. Condition of the racket is looking good. There are no rips in the rubber. The handle is smooth. Now we must check the weight of the racket. We must do it on one side and then repeat. That is 131 grams. And 131. And the other side. Okay, now we must check that the colour is legal on both sides. Start on the dark side first. We use these special colour cards to ensure that we're in the correct range. The closest match is dark bean. That is fine. And for the other side,
fried shrimp is fine there. So the colour is within normal limits. Okay, and now we must take some measurements of the racket. Just bear with me. So take the total height. And that is a twenty-five point four. We need the width at the widest point. Fourteen point nine five, and then the height of the handle ten centimeters on the red side. Nine point eight on the opposite side. Okay, we have to take some specific handle measurements. There is one point nine. Three point three. The thickness at these three points have to be within point one. One point one, one point one. One point one. So that is and just some final measurements at these points please Okay, happy with the measurements there. Okay, we're just going to check the emissions coming off the rackets, just to ensure that it is environmentally friendly. I have to do this at three points. Each for approximately 20 seconds. Here, six, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good point note, I've recorded that from the red side, right, top and left. No point note, no point one, no point note. It's absolutely acceptable. Okay, we're just going to do a quick ultraviolet scan of the racket to ensure that there's no unwanted deposits in the racket, which could influence the competitor or provide an unfair advantage. around the peripheral edge excellent now deposits there look at the gloss level of the racket because if it's too glossy it could blind the opponent so I do this by reflecting the light off the racket and measuring my glare level And we do this on both sides. Excellent. And of course the handle. If there is a particular point that gives a lot of glare, such as here, we just lift up and compare and make a little estimation there based on my ocular system and grade that as a medium level intensity at this location. Medium is acceptable. Black, low, red, this area is a medium, but within normal limits, thank you. Okay, we are now going to measure and check the match balls. Total diameter at the balls for this particular match that is 3.8 3.8 we check for any defects to the balls any dimples any parts that are too bright Okay. 
and we measure the white of the match bubbles. We are looking for between 1.9 and 2.1 grams. can see two grams and a second backup match ball 1.8 so that one is unacceptable double check the first one two grams So that will be the match ball we shall use for the competition. Okay, so what happens now? Well, you don't get the racket back until the beginning of the match. Both competitors hand their rackets over, you place it in a little bag. Is your player's name on it? Michael Gautier, with the reference number, and we place it in a little bag. And the both players shall receive this right before the match begins and the referee will be in soon for taking the match ball. So that's everything. Good luck with the event.